let's take a look at the best bluebird story with our cats ever told. This amazing story starts in the setting of one of the largest catio homes in the country. Not only do we dearly love our cats, but we are also quite fond of the wildlife that lives here too. Just like in the past, the kitty cats watched from the sidelines. Rain or shine, Mrs. Bluebird took six days to build her nest. She laid one egg every day for five days and incubated them for two weeks. I think Peter Rabbit was excited about the new arrivals too. Mm -hmm. And then they hatched. Don't they look like strange little tadpoles? Mm-hmm, they do. They were fed at least twice an hour by both parents. Mrs. Bluebird will sit on the broods to regulate their temperature for at least six days. On day four, feather sheaths begin to emerge on the wings, and those sweet button eyes will start to open. The nestlings should weigh at least 25 grams, and feeding visits are about every five minutes. This is the time the nestlings start to preen, pulling at their feathers, hopping and stretching to strengthen their little muscles. They are now completely feathered. You can even see the speckled gray spots on their little bodies. Cats watch and listen with such curiosity. Day 12 is the last day we can safely open the box. Everyone looks good, but a bit crowded. Showtime, day 17. This is where the drama begins. After a few last minute feedings, the parents perch in a branch in a nearby tree and call for the babies to come and join them in the new world. And with unbelievable courage, each baby took turns using their wings to take their first flight. Incredibly, all five popped out in over an hour. After four weeks of learning to fly within the tree canopy, the juveniles are brought back for some of our yummy homemade suet. But to answer the question, yes. Our setup allows for both purrs and songs to exist in, in harmony. harmony. We invite you to check out our YouTube channel for catio design ideas and other cat projects. Meow for now.